are going to test the uh, lamb kebab, yes, Ahmed? The lamb kebab and the falafel. And then I'm going to have a tea, a Turkish tea, and in this bad weather, so cold, so windy. And we will test uh, some nice food in here. And then we will go to explore some more food in Dublin city. Well, our starter is arrived. They call falafel and uh, some vegetable over here and the falafel and the top is uh, some uh, sauce, creamy sauce. Looks so crunchy. Mm, so crunchy and inside is so soft, you can see here. Yeah, inside is so soft and green. We have to try with this uh, some vegetable. I think this is coriander and tomato with some sauce. Yeah, bring it. Thank you so much, yeah, first man. So savory. And uh, I think there is a lemon juice and uh, nice uh, white, uh, I think it's main sauce as well. Yeah, this is our Turkish coffee. Yeah, Turkish coffee. Wonderful, my friend. Thank you so much. Cheers, This is the, our shish and in here we have a bit rice with some salad or pickled vegetable, and then we have a chili and yogurt sauce. Well, it smells so nice. And this one is a charcoal grillet. I think so the lamb cube is nice, yeah. Outside is marinated and cooked very good. Very, very hot. Mm. It's cooked very good. It's amazing. You can see outside is a, there is a layer of the uh, spice and grill it in charcoal. You can feel it here. This test of the charcoal is so good, so nice. Just then, put inside the deep chili sauce and yogurt sauce or... Mm. Now it's good. Now we have to mix this all together with some vegetable and some rice. Mm. Rice is fluffy. So soft, savory, and juicy. When you're tired, this hot spicy chili will help you a lot. And we have a olives as well. We have a lamb and some vegetables. Really, lamb is full of flavor. It's a little bit hard, but they cook so good. And outside the lamb, there is a lot of uh, spice. You can see it's over here. And they cooked amazing. Our Turkish cafe. Nice, and I can show you guys. So strong coffee. No sugar. Mm. It's one of the best coffee. So strong. 
We had a nice food, but unfortunately they didn't let us to record the video from inside the restaurant anyway. This is it and uh, some people they don't like and uh, we can't do anything. But food was nice, uh, lamb shish with rice, with the side sauce and vegetable and then we had the falafel. Falafel was so soft, inside was so soft, outside crunchy and we enjoy it and now we are going to a restaurant they are Iranian and I have tried food in here a few years ago the restaurant name is the Zaytun and they are well known for Iranian food it's uh, just uh, the street name I really don't know maybe I will find uh, Mohammed Mohammed what is the street name in here Parliament. oh Parliament Street and it's the Parliament Street and the restaurant name they call it's over there Zaytun and the one dish I haven't tried a few years they call a kubide kubide with rice it's one of the, my favorite dish and let's go in and try kubide with rice It's an Iranian restaurant. They are well known for Iranian food and mostly Iranian kebab. And we have ordered uh, uh, it's uh, just a uh, uh, kubide and rice. It's so popular in Iran and it's a kind of the uh, lamb mince with uh, onion and uh, it's just a cost uh, 14 pounds. Price of the food in here is so expensive, seriously. It's not just in here, it's whole Dublin city. Price of the food is so expensive and uh, you can't do anything. Oh yeah, thank you so much. That's uh, our food is arrived in here. I can show you. This is the uh, 14 pound uh, kubide. Even is a single kubide because usually this dish is a double kubide and then we have a side vegetable and then we have a, a garlic sauce and a chili sauce chili sauce and garlic sauce that's all we have in here Mohammed come here you can see the kubide is juicy It's nice cooked and juicy. Mm. So tasty, full of flavor. Mm. I can tell you, kubi the flavor is amazing and texture is so good, so soft. And now we have to try with the rice. Rice is a little bit dry. Uh, usually uh, they come with the butter you know the, they put butter over here I don't see any butter you know nothing no butter nothing and uh, we try one more time on this time we have to put some sauce No complain about the quality of the kebabs or kubi that we have here. It's cooked nice and the lamb means is so fresh. Mixture of the lamb means and onion is amazing. And uh, do you have uh, all the test juiciness and test of the kubi that is first class uh, side uh, vegetable. Uh, you can use uh, this uh, sauce. And then you have uh, this one.
and we have a chili as well. What an amazing food we had in Zaytun. I want to just uh, tell you guys, if you are coming to Dublin to test the food, absolutely food price in here is ridiculous. For example, this kubi day, usually kubi day is come with two square of the uh, kubi day. And in here, they put instead of the two, they put one and they didn't put even butter as well and all 14 euro for this kubi day it's so expensive i don't know if they put a two square of the uh, kubi day then how much they charge maybe 20 pound what do you think 20 pound for just a one kubi day and rice Well, we are coming to the last spot to try food in Dublin and we are just close to the O'Connell Bridge. It's just the O'Connell Bridge is over there and then Dublin Spire is over there and the O'Connell Street. And uh, if you are coming to in this spot over here, they call India and they sell street food. Indian street food and uh, Dublin tube is coming just across over here. Let's go in and try some Indian street food. We are coming in here. We have all Indian sweets over here. And could you give us the name of this food, this dessert? Yeah. And he's here. And what's so, your name? Sudesh. Oh, Sudesh. And his. Uh, so he was this then. Is gajar ka halwa. This is made from carrots. Oh, it's made like a from. Carrot cake. Like oh, version. like carrot cake, yeah. yeah. This is jalebi. Oh, jalebi. Oh, yeah, I have to write in Manchester. Yeah, that's correct. This is laddu. Oh, laddu. And this is Mysore pak. This is made from ground flour and caramelized sugar. Wow, wow. That's this is wonderful. also laddu and jalebi. This is rasgulla. This is made from. A uh, type of different type of cheese. Oh, okay, okay. So oh, can I have a, this one? Yeah. yeah, this one, and this one, and this two, and uh, give me this one as well. What do you yeah, call this gulab one? Jabon. Oh, gulab jabon. Yeah. yeah, gulab jabon as well. This three, and uh, on here we have a uh, onion bhaji. We have. Yeah. Can I have onion bhaji? Yeah. What? What's that? Burra. Burra. Yeah. Burra. And this is samosa. Oh, sambusa, and this three, please. So it's spongy. Mm. So it's UK, they open the first uh, drive through. Indian drive through. So sweet and so soft. Okay. Nice and delicious. Thank you. How much do I have to pay? You add the tell, yeah. Oh, add the tell, yeah. yeah. Just put it over there. Rai Gula is so sweet and so spongy and absolutely delicious. And uh, this one is again rajgula, but it's a different color and the sugar syrup, but syrup is dropping. Mm. And a little bit of crunchy and uh, this one is more soft and more spongy, but uh, full of juice and full of syrup, absolutely so so sweet and uh, this one is a jalebi and i have tried it in manchester jalebi is nice mm. again soft and this one he said is a kind of the, a carrot cake so soft and again sweet you can see yeah there is a 
carrots and something else that's so sweet and so soft and spongy and unfortunately the inside music is so loud and outside is so windy and now we have an onion budgie look at this one <coughs> yeah inside onion and spinach and some more spice and then we have a green sauce over here A spicy, crunchy, and uh, so tasty. In here we have a sambusa. I think inside is a lamb meat and the peas and the potato. Again, there is a lot of spice. Potato is so soft, you can see inside. Potato is so soft and the lamb means and the full of spice, Indian spice. And in here we have something else, I forgot the name of this. Just the bread. Yeah, I think it's just a deep fried bread. You have to put inside this deep sauce. Mm. Okay, now I am coming to end our second video from Dublin. We started the Turkish shish kebab with rice and the Turkish tea was nice and delicious but unfortunately they didn't allow us to record the video from inside the restaurant which is, was okay for me not a problem then we went to Zeytun restaurant the price of the food in there was ridiculous I think it's so expensive then we came to try some Indian food was so sweet so delicious it's the first time to try some indian street food in dublin absolutely we enjoyed our time in dublin dublin is the best city and it's so popular city and the multicultural city if you want to come in dublin come here and do some walking tour or test some delicious food I hope you liked our video. If you like it, just give me a thumbs up and leave me comments below. Or if you haven't subscribed, just to subscribe. Then if you want to see our next video, just press the bell icon. If you press the bell icon, definitely you will notify our next video. I hope see you all in my next video.